Okay, so it sounds like we got a Hawaiian zombie down there. I hope it's a Hawaiian zombie, or else it's a cop zombie. Let's uh, move over to... Oh, that's a cop. Day one cop. Or d first horde cop, anyway. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Hype Train! Alpha 17. Oh, my freaking God. Guys, I... Um, this, this alpha is far from perfect. But I gotta tell you, like, when I'm at work, I just want to get home and play this alpha all the time. I have not been this jazzed for this game probably since Alpha 16 came out. And honestly, uh, maybe I'm just forgetting what it was like when Alpha 16 came out. But I don't feel like... The hype on Alpha 16 was quite as, as high as it is for me, personally, um, for Alpha 17. So, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this freaking Alpha. I'm so freaking excited. I just want to play it all the time. And, um, yeah, so we got Horde Knight here, my first Horde Knight. This is going to be fun. Um, one problem with Horde Knight, though, guys, is I did not build this base to deal with vultures. Am I going to get vultures? I don't know. Um, some people say yes, some people say no. I'm a little a, a little concerned. A little concerned with the vultures. I did not leave myself enough wood to build a proper um, uh, protect... I did not leave myself enough wood to build proper protection against the vultures. So if I get vultures tonight, it could be a problem. It could be a problem. I've watched two people deal with Horde Knight... And neither of them had vultures, so I don't know if it's going to be a problem. I, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see how things go. I went ahead and upped the brightness because I don't have proper lighting yet, and um, you know, I understand that be the darkness is part of the game, and I get that. And if I was just playing by myself, like I would just be okay with it. But I was actually watching someone play, and their video was really dark, and I was on my um, I was on my uh, what do you call it here? You know what? Let me pick this up and put this over here. I was on my cell phone and like they were playing and their video was really dark. And it's like, you know, I understand the the ambient feel of the darkness, but at the same time, it's just it's too much. It's too much. We need we need some light. Um so you guys can see what's going on. So I did up the gamma a little bit. I'll turn it back down after Horde Night, but I do want you guys to be able to see. Um, I did put down a few torches, not a ton of torches, you know, uh, we need either a mining helmet or possibly a, um, or just more torches, you know, spotlights, stuff like that. Um, let me know right now, guys, in the comments, how well do you think this base is going to hold up? My game stage is... So I was looking at my player stat window, right? I was looking under stats and stats, couldn't find game stage. Uh, if you press I... This is like your multiplayer thing. Um, yeah, my game stage is 40. 257 kills, 3 deaths, level 21. Game stage is 40. So let me know in the comments, guys. How do you think this is going to go? I've heard nightmare stories of of hordes just tearing through everything and killing everybody and, and nobody's safe and everything goes bad. And then I've heard, uh, you know, hordes that, you know, that they're not that bad. Um, I did watch two people's horde nights. I watched Games for Kicks and Partially Royals Horde Nights, and they were both very mild. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to go over some comments you guys made um, over the past video or two. Uh, first of all, the Daring Adventurer perk. Um, I, I said this I, I said this is a multiplayer perk. I don't know why I thought that. But it's not a multiplayer perk. It's an excellent perk. Uh, and we're looking at this right here. The Daring Adventurer. This gives you an additional choice for quest, quest rewards. I, I tested this in uh, my multiplayer world. And oh my god, this is a must-have perk. Okay, when we're done with this Horde Knight, I'm going to be doing a lot of questing and a lot of uh, POI exploration. Um, so, yeah, uh, and we definitely need that perk right there for sure. I'll, probably, I'll get it tonight. I'm sure I'll get a couple levels um, during Horde Knight. Also, uh, talk about armor mods. Okay, so I was talking about mods last video, and I said how, like, you know, the light the light armor is better than the heavy armor because, um, you know, the heavy armor weighs you down, and the light armor, it, even though it doesn't have the same armor rating as the heavy armor, I like the ability to move and not have stamina drains and everything. And you guys uh, rightly pointed out that you could put mods into the armor. Now, I don't know about the mods because I'm not at that point in the game yet. I haven't really looked at mods yet. But some people said you could put mods in there that will lessen the... Uh, the movement penalties and the stamina drain. Um, and I think there's stats in here for that stuff. Um, yeah, stamina per second and mobility, right? This is 85% because I'm wearing armor, okay? Now, there is mods you can do that will offset this. But think about it this way, guys. First of all, I don't have the mods, all right? Second of all, as far as I understand, you can't craft the mods to level 40, okay? And also, any mods you put into heavy armor to make the mobility easier is mods you can't put are, is going to take up sp the space of mods that you could put in for other things now i don't know what those other things are i don't know anything about these mods okay so when i get mods 
The heavy armor might seem a little bit better, but we'll see. Don't forget, if you're putting in heavy armor for mobility, that is that is mods you're not putting in for other things. Like, I don't know, whatever. Um, and don't forget, um, also, light armor does have a penalty boost as well. It's just not as bad as heavy armor. So let's take a look at the light armor. Uh, I don't have any light armor, of course. I've got just padded. Anyway, the light armor will have uh, stamina negative 0.57 and mobility negative 4. So if you put in a mod into your heavy armor that takes away, you know, that gives you, takes away two of that negative 4 mobility, that's great. But your mo you, but the mobility on the heavy armor might be like 6, so you're going down to 4. If I put that on this one, I go from 4 to 2. So either way, it's going to make my mobility and my stamina better, all right? And also, I know there's other mods you can put in the armor. What other mods? I don't know. Um, we're going to have to find out together. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not saying the mods won't won't swing me over to heavy armor. If I get the right mods, maybe I will like heavy armor more. I don't know. But right now, I don't have the mods. So, you know, what I said last uh, episode was correct from my gameplay standpoint right now. But that could change later on. Also, um, land claim blocks. Does anyone know how land claim blocks work? Can you only put down one land claim block? How big of an area does the land claim block give you? Um, well, hold on. Let's take a look. All right. So that doesn't look like a very big area. What is that? That's like a five by five. Yeah. Five by five. Cause that's exactly when well, no, Yeah. No, no, that's a seven by seven. Um, or a six by six. One, two, three, four. It's just as big. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's a seven by seven. So a land claim block is seven by seven. Now I'm not going to put it down to test this, but I was told in, at least in multiplayer, you can only put down one land claim block per person. Is that the same in single player? Or maybe this isn't a single player world, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, so I don't think this is technically a single player world. I think it's all multiplayer. So I might only be able to put down one land claim block. If that's true, that blows. And I'm going to look into expanding the border of the land claim block because a seven by seven, uh, if I can only put down one land claim block, it's just, it's just simply not good enough. All right, guys, another half, half hour in game. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple more things that I was thinking about. Um, first of all, I was going to make Maltov cocktails and then I realized they take oil. Um, oil is not that easy to make. It's not that easy to find. Maybe I'll have a lot more once I start taking apart cars, but, um, Molotovs are supposed to be really badass, but I just don't know if I want to sacrifice the oil because I use the oil for repair kits. Um, so I don't really know about that, but I was also looking at pipe bombs, right? Uh, the problem is with pipe bombs is I need a, uh, crafting station. Um, you know, and I don't know if there's one in the area. Honestly, I don't remember if I've seen one. Um, I got to remember if I find a working, uh, working one, I need to mark it. Cause I can't make my own till at least level 30. Um, it might even be later than level 30. Let's take a look really quick. Um, that's under advanced engineering and that is level 30. Yeah. Yeah. Workbench level 30. So. Um, can't make one to level 30, so that's a bit of a bummer. Also, I was I was thinking about the sledgehammer. People are going gaga, absolutely losing their minds over the sledgehammer, okay? I didn't like the sledgehammer in Alpha 17 and Alpha 16. I kind of felt like I liked the club because it was quicker and it was it felt better, but um, the sledgehammer I think is going to be a little bit better in this one because of the power attacks possibly. I don't know, but people are going gaga over the sledgehammer guys and you've convinced me. I'm going to give the sledgehammer a, a real chance. All right, I'm going to get one. I'm going to give it a real chance and we'll see what it can do. Um, I kind of like the axe because the axe chop down, chops down wooden doors better. Um, I, it's something I can cut trees with and I don't have to hold an extra weapon in my in my hands. But the sledgehammer also breaks down doors really good, you guys said. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. 2200. Let me sit up. Let me sit up. I know this is bright, but um, like I said, I was watching someone play today at work on my... On my... Uh, uh, on my... Um, my phone and oh my god, like there's nothing worse than like when it's too dark. So I'd rather it be too bright than too dark. Oh, here we go. Here we go, boys. Come on in the middle. Come on in the middle. Alright, let's go ahead and take you out. Oh, oh, there we go. You gotta make sure you zoom in, or else you're not gonna hit nothing. Now the thing that sucks about these um these spikes is I'm not getting the I'm not getting the kills. But that's okay. It's just a it's just a like um Thin them out, and I'll, I'll get some more kills later. Oh, we got a big Bertha here. Now, these, these spikes are not going to last long. Oh, crap. You see? See what I'm talking about with these vultures? All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, God. He followed me right in here. Okay. Oh, he's trapped. Look at him. He's trapped. Oh, cool. So, that didn't work out exactly like I thought it would. I'm bleeding again. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. So, that sucked. 
All right, so how many vultures am I going to get? That's what I'm worried about. Um, I do not have the hit points for this. Um, oh, boy, lag. So do I have any pills? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and take that. Get some hit points back because I think we will be attacked by more vultures. So let's go ahead and uh, bring our max hit points back up. Let's keep a look above us. Okay. All right, so we got a dog down there. The spikes are doing a little bit more work than I thought. Um, I didn't think they'd be that good. Um, they, they really seem to be doing a lot of work. Which, um, I kind of want the experience, but that's okay. Um, it would be nice to live through it, too. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. So, if you don't aim with this thing, you really don't hit anything. I could just hit fire and just go for body shots. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I could just go for body shots. It's going to be hard to get headshots here either way. Okay, so it sounds like we got a Hawaiian zombie down there. I hope it's a Hawaiian zombie, or else it's a cop zombie. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, move over to... Oh, that's a cop. Day one cop. Or first horde cop, anyway. All right, so where is he? There he is. I got the kill on him. Okay. So people are telling me that the cops are weaker than before. So maybe that's why we get those early cops, because they're weaker. I don't know. Could be the case. All right, so the guns are not great in this um, iteration of the game either, but, you know... We'll do what we can. I think they get better when you put the mods in them, right? So why don't we go ahead and take another one of these. And why don't we go ahead and drink something. And then take this. I want my hit points full. Oh, you know what? I need more bandages. Crap, and I don't have anything to make bandages with. Okay. Oh, the lag. That lag's going to get me killed. All right, so let's switch over to the pistol just for some lulls. All right. Oh, my God, the lag. So I think the lag is happening whenever some uh, zombies spawn in, possibly. Alright, so... I gotta tell you guys, I think the spikes are a little bit better than I originally anticipated. Um, which is good and bad. It's, it's making it so I'm not getting as much experience. But, uh, you know what? Let's just survive the Horde Knight, right? Uh, she dead. Okay, so let's move, move on over to here. Spread them out as much as we can. Plus, it's easier to shoot him from over here. Come on. Damn, man. I need an automatic weapon. That's what I need. Might have him back at base. I don't think I do, though. That's alright. Okay. Leveled up. Level 22. And we're out of ammo with that thing. Okay. I think the uh, bow actually does more damage than the, than the pistol. Which is kind of weird, but I bet you if I looked at the pistol and the bow, they probably do. Well, actually, I think they do the same amount of damage. Let's take a look. 14. Wait, wait. The bow is 39. The pistol is 25. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, it is a compound bow, though. I do like the compound bow. All right. I think our horde's over. <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and grab that guy. So we did get one, um, one, uh, one vulture, you know. Uh, and I'm thankful I only got one, because that could have been really bad. Again, the good news is, the spikes really helped. The bad news is, the spikes really helped. Because I, I missed out on a lot of experience because of those spikes. But you know what? I don't want them tearing down my base. And um, those spikes really, really helped. So, I mean, I probably could have done without the spikes. It doesn't even look like they did a ton of damage to the base. Uh, either one. So... Maybe uh, less spikes. The spikes still are a lot more effective than I thought. I didn't think those spikes would be that effective at all. So, I do find that very interesting how effective they were. Now, should I go down there? If I see a loot bag, I might go down there and get it. But I don't think I see one. Is that a loot bag? That might be a loot bag. Yeah, that's a loot bag. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't have any way to get back up here if I do grab it. All right. I want that loot bag, though. They're worth, the, they're worth the risk. They are definitely worth the risk. So we need a way back up. Uh, did they break the ladder? I, I think they might have. Should I just jump down? I'll probably hurt my leg if I do. Alright, so let's try this. And it's going to be a little dark for you guys. I apologize. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It disappeared. Oh, man. Unless it wasn't a loot bag. I'm pretty sure it was, though. Oh, they didn't break the ladder. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it disappeared. That's a bummer. Come on. All right, well, the horde base... You know, it's a pretty decent horde for a day one horde. I mean, I did get a cop, although that you guys were telling me in the comments, and you're totally right, that cop was not like the cops in Alpha 16. That thing, that guy went down quick. He went down quick. I don't even think the sniper rifle does a lot of damage. Yeah, 50 damage. I mean, compared to 39 from my bow. Um, magazine reload, effective range. I mean, it's got better effective range, but weapon handling. Oh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But uh, maybe that's when you put points into it. That gets better. Like if you put points into the perk. All right. Well, that was pretty interesting. It was a pretty decent horde night. It was definitely a, a di more difficult horde night uh, just because of the cop and the... Uh, I keep wanting to call them ravens, but they're not ravens. Uh, they're vultures. Because of the cop and the vulture, that was, that was a little harder. But other than that, they all seem to be about normal with Alpha 16 uh, horde nights. And they barely touch my base. So, guys, this base was, uh, it was a success. It really was. All right, guys, Horde Night is officially over. I went back to my base. I made myself a shovel uh, right here. I made myself a garden hoe. I think you know where we're going with this. Um, I'm going to get the treasure today, and I might actually start a farm. I also gathered up some cotton. I made cotton seeds, and I also made some more bandages. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to need some more bandages. Yeah, we got to get more cotton. Uh, what we really need, you know, forget about cotton. What we need to do is hit up a POI and start keeping a lookout for the blinds, you know, like the curtains. Because uh, when you're in a POI, the curtains most of the time break down into, actually all the time. If they're curtains, they break down into, um, they break down into cloth. So that's what we really need to do. We need to keep, we need to keep a lookout. I'm definitely going to start the farm today though. Um, I think that's what I want to do. Let's go ahead and clear this area out of zombies so we don't have to deal with the headaches. And, um, we're going to get this treasure. We're going to turn it in. We're going to start the farm. It's going to be pretty awesome. I've been wanting to start this farm for a while, but you need, uh, you know, you need to be able to make iron tools to do it or find a hoe. And I never found a hoe. So, all right. So we're going to look north. I'm going to show you how I set this up. North, uh, north, north. Here we go. That's one edge. Right? If we go right here, it's it's flashing. If we go right here, it's not flashing. That's the edge. So then we come on down here until it stops flashing. All right, it's flashing right there. So right there, it's flashing. Right here, it's not flashing. Then, how big is this? It's gonna be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's ten. So there's no middle. One, two, three, four, five. So that could be considered the middle. Close enough. And then we go out this way until it stops flashing. And there we go. Or until it starts flashing, I should say. There we go. What are you looking at, buddy? Oh, there you go. So it's confirmed that attack animation they make when they're getting up is not an actual attack. It is only an animation. And some people are like, of course it's an animation. It's, it never hits anybody. But the thing is, the Fun Pimp said, I believe they maybe I'm remembering this wrong, but I could have swore that Fun Pimp said that that was supposed to be an actual attack. Like, they're going to attack you when they get up. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But, um, yeah, so it doesn't attack you, though. It's just an animation, but I think it was meant to attack you. All right, so I think that goes right there. Yep, flashing, not flashing. Okay, guys, and uh, this is going to be great. Let's start digging. Power attack. Let's see how let's see how good this digging is with the shovel. All right, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't have any points to spend on anything, so I think we're just gonna do some digging here. Man, it took me longer to kill the zombies in the area than to get the treasure. Um, man, this this perk right here, guys. I'm just gonna let you know this perk, and you probably all know this, but this lucky looter perk, this uh, narrowed down buried treasure, is invaluable. Okay, it's incredible, and I'm gonna show you the treasure in one second. All right. Uh, sounds like we've got another Zambi in the area. Or I hear them. I don't see them. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. And the treasure is right there. Okay. That's garbage. Man, are these treasures all this bad? That's like the second treasure I got. I mean, the um, turning it in and picking the quest reward is going to be pretty nice. But the actual treasure themselves, like, are they supposed to be that, like, useless? Or maybe they are because, you know, the, the reward is you know, the reward, and, um, you know, maybe if you get too good of stuff in the, uh, treasure, they'd consider that OP, I'm not really sure, but, um, all right, well, we got the treasure done, let's head on over to the trader, turn it in, and get some more quests, because I love these quests, 
All right, guys, I was trying to hold out, but I'm not doing this anymore. Cardio one, it's the rule. I'm taking it right now. Oh, my God. Like, this uh, running around is just, oof. I was like, well, I'll get the bike in another, you know, six levels. But who knows if I'm going to be able to make the bike. I think you need certain stuff to make the bike, right? So I might not even be able to make it. So I think that rule one cardio is probably worth it. And we are almost to the trader. Um, I did loot a bag on the way over here, and I did get a scrap iron armor. And then I mined some iron, and I repaired it. Um, it's only going to sell for like 160 dukes, but I was like, eh, you know, scrap iron armor is better than what I have, but the problem with it, the problem with it is it also kills me on stamina mobility. I'm not going to, I've already discussed this. I'm not sacrificing that stamina mobility right now. So we will be selling it. We also got a gun to sell uh, a rifle. I was going to save the rifle, but I don't really need it now that I have a sniper rifle. Um, the sniper rifle is better than the right than the hunting rifle as far as I understand it. Um, so I will be holding on to the sniper rifle selling the rifle. We need some Dukes. I'm sure this guy's gonna have something I want to buy. Although I think I came here at day seven and that was the last restock and I don't think he had didn't he have something that I wanted to buy and I couldn't afford it because I bought the nail gun. I think he's got like a, a steel axe. I, I still don't think a steel axe is worth it. I really don't. I don't really have a lot. I don't really have a lot of trouble getting the wood I need. So I don't really think it's a necessity. All right, buddy. Well, here you go, friend. All right, so you can see right here, I could pick the, I could pick fifteen Molotovs. Oh, this is a tough choice. Oh, this is a real tough choice. <sighs> fifteen Molotovs, guys. I gotta go with the shotgun. I can't. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I gotta go with the shotgun. I can't. I was just talking about how much I liked Molotovs and how much I wanted to use them, but I can't justify it. I gotta go with the shotgun. So we are going to choose the shotgun. Let's take another. Let's take a look at more of his quests. And what I like to do is I take the one that's closest. Now we've got two that's closest. They're both buried supplies. That's fine by me. Fetch quests are pretty cool. So are clear zombies. But I like the buried supply quest the best. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And then we're going to sell. Uh, we're going to sell this. How much does that sell for? Yeah, 1400 Okay. We're going to sell the hunting rifle. We are going to sell the chest armor. I'm going to keep the flashlight because I think I can eventually make myself a, a mining helmet. Um, and let's take a quick look through this guy's stuff. Maybe I should buy the shotgun shells. I might want to because there is problems with uh, wolf hordes and stuff spawning out on you out in the wild dog hordes. I'm probably going to want the shotgun shells if I come into contact with either of those, you know, groups. <laughs> um, you know, so maybe we'll get some shotgun shells. Uh, let's take a look at the resources. We are going to need some steel to repair the machete, but this clown doesn't have any steel, which is really annoying. Uh, there is stuff I can buy from him to get steel, but it's really expensive, and I don't think it's overly worth it. Um, again, the steel, the steel fire axe. I'm gonna let that go. Um, you know, it's better than my axe, but I think I need to save my money for other things. Um, I should buy the oil, right? Because didn't we say how much oil? Man, that's a, that's really expensive, though. I can't justify that. Should we buy some leather armor? I am a fan of leather armor, but again, I'm going to hold off on. I know I'm cheap. I know, guys. Uh. And let's take a look at this. I uh, don't really like any of that. So there's a couple things I want, but I got to I gotta be honest with you guys. I think I'm going to grab the shotgun shells and that's it. Yeah, let's grab 46 shotgun shells. All right. All right, very good. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get the shotgun on the hot bar. And um, again, I've heard stories of dog hordes and wolf hordes and all kinds of hordes. Um, if I get jumped out in the wild by something like that, the shotgun could be, mean the difference between life and death. Um, I don't really think it's going to really be needed that much for Horde Knight. It's more of a, as I travel, and it could help with points of interest. Again, when you're, when you're hunting in points of interest, um, you're going to have to deal with ferals. There's quite a few ferals at the points of interest. So I think that shotgun was probably the way to go. All right, so we're going to start a farm here, and uh, let's do that right now. I'm going to turn off my timer because I don't need to, you know, deal with that. Um, I don't really want to make the farm right by my house, but I guess there's no reason not to. Or yeah, Let's make it a little bit farther away just in case. Just in case we get a roaming horde coming by in the middle of the night. We don't want them tearing up our farm. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's just go ahead and clear some of this grass. Man, that one tree was blocking all of the sunlight and making this really, uh, really dark area. So I did chop down the tree. And let's go ahead and till the land. Do we till the land anymore? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just hold down the button. Some of the some of the um, textures in the game are not done, as you can tell. Um, like, remember when the wood fell and there was, like, scrap wood on the ground? That stuff looks horrible. This looks really bad as well. Um, so they'll, they'll get to it. They will get to it. It's a little weird. It doesn't, doesn't seem to be tilling very... 
There we go. Just hold down the button. Seems to be a little finicky on where it tills. It, it is called tilling, right? I think it's called tilling. All right, there we go. Let's get rid of this grass. I like the way you don't need dirt to repair it anymore. Like if you do damage to the ground, you don't have to find dirt to repair it. That was that was always annoying. Okay, so that looks pretty good for now. Let's go ahead and plant some cotton seeds. Okay. And let's also make some seeds with... Uh, no, that, not that. Um, oh, you need five croissant. Yeah, you need five of each plant to make a seed. You know, which is kind of expensive. But the thing is, um, you don't have to, like, replant the crops anymore. Um, when, when it finally grows, I just punch it. I get the crop. And then you just have to wait for it to grow again. Which is really cool. Um, that's very nice... Uh, uh, quality of life thing there, you know? We're also gonna have to work on this base to kind of try to make this base a little bit better. Um, or maybe move to another base. I don't think I want to move to another base, though. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I could. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's grab some seeds. Seeds, seeds. Those are... Well, we'll plant those as well. Uh, any more seeds? Make some blueberries? Why not? Why not? Let's make some blueberries. Ah, uh, we don't have enough. That's right. We need five to make the seeds. I keep forgetting about that. That's gonna that's gonna take some getting used to. There's no doubt about that. All right, guys, we're just grabbing our fifth chrysanthemum over here, and um, I see a bag that I can loot. So let's go ahead and loot that bag. Oh, I already looted it. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> there, oh God, there's a lot of them over there. I didn't even see them all over there. Whatever. Let's get this thing planted, and uh, it's gonna be a very modest farm to start with, but that's okay. We'll just get this thing started. And there we go. And a little bit of corn as well. Okay. So if I break up this, if I break up these uh, seeds, will I just get the seed back? I don't know. You know, I'll have the best. Let me know, guys. If I punch the seed, will I get the seed back so I can move them a little bit easier? That would be awesome. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. You know what? I'm going to call this one right here because we're going to go for another buried treasure because I love these buried treasures. So let's take a look really quickly before I end the video. Uh, show on map. And let's go out and get that one. It looks like it's in the same spot I dug last time. Could you imagine if it was like in a hole I already dug? Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.